Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 120, Walan Tarda, Ankal Yahudu, Walan Nasara, Hatta Tattabiyu Millatihum. The Jews and the Christians, they will never be satisfied until you follow their way of religion, until you follow their brand of religion. Allah is saying in Surah Baqarah, chapter two, verse number 120, Walan Tarda, Ankal Yahudu, Walan Nasara, Hatta Tattabiyu Millatihum. You know, we try and impress the Westerners, our non-Muslims. Okay, fine, you know, try to make them happy. Allah says, Walan Tarda, Ankal Yahudu, Walan Nasara, the Jews and the Christians, they will never be satisfied unless you become a Jew or a Christian. You try and satisfy their many things, they will never be satisfied until you become Jew or a Christian. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 111. Allah says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 111. And they say, وَقَالُوا لَنْ يَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةَ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُدَرَ النَّصَارَى Allah is saying in Quran, Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 111, وَقَالُوا لَنْ يَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةَ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُدَرَ النَّصَارَى they say that you Muslims, you shall never enter Jannah unless you become a Jew or a Christian. You Muslims with all your piety, with all your salah, with the mark on your forehead, with your psalm, with your fasting, with your hajj, you shall never enter Jannah unless you become a Jew or a Christian. Allah continues and Allah replies, Tilka amani yuhum. This is the wishful thinking. Bakwas e bakwas, vain desires. Tilka amani yuhum. Kul hatu burana kum in gundam sadikin. Produce your proof, but if you're truthful. Allah says that when anyone makes tall claims that only we will go to paradise, Allah says, Kul hatu burana kum. This is your wishful thinking, your vain desires. Bakwas e bakwas. Kul, tell them, hatu burana kum. Produce your proof in gundam sadikin, but if you're truthful. And these Christians, they have produced the Burhan, the Holy Bible, in no less than 2,000 different languages of the world. My Bible says this, my Bible says that. My Bible says this, my Bible says that. Christian missionaries throughout the world, they are knocking at the doors of the Muslims. They are knocking at our doors and saying, my Bible says this, my Bible says that. Allah says, Qul hatu Burhan, is your proof. They have produced the proof. They have produced the proof, the Bible, in no less than 2,000 different languages of the world. And they go on knocking at the doors of the Muslims. My Bible says this, my Bible says that. My Bible says this, my Bible says that. What do we have to do? Do we have to swallow hook, line, and sinker? When anyone shows you the proof, what do you do? You check the proof. When someone shows you the identity card, you check whether it is correct or not. So they are showing you the proof of the Bible. What are we doing? Are we checking the Bible? They are knocking at the doors of the Muslims all over the world, including Nigeria. They knock at the door and they tell you, isn't it mentioned in your Quran that Bible is the word of God? And most of us Muslims will say, yes. The Quran says Bible is the word of God. Then why don't you follow the Bible? No reply. They ask the next question. Is your prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is he dead or alive? Is your prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, dead or alive? We have to agree. His teaching is alive, but physically he's dead. He's buried in Medina. They ask the next question. Is prophet Jesus dead or alive? We have to agree. Prophet Jesus, the Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 158, Allah raised him up alive. He's alive. So who's greater? Your last prophet Muhammad who's dead is greater, or Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, who's alive is greater. They ask you the question, and we Muslims can't reply. Now they are getting their Burhan. Allah says, they've got their Burhan, the Bible. What are we doing? 